Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash Eric. So today is the LIC Grand Championship. It is a best of two. This is the second round. If you missed yesterday's video, then stop watching right now. Go back to yesterday's video. I'll link it right up there and watch the first round so you can see exactly where we are. Are you gone yet? I'll give you one more second. Okay, if you're still here, I didn't want to give any spoilers. I want to give people a chance to click out there. But during yesterday's war, Queen Walker's got a 15 to 12 perfect war against INTZ. And this is the best of two. That means the scores from the previous war are going to carry forward to this one. And we're going to see if Queen Walkers can do it again. Or if INTZ can get the perfect war, which they're perfectly capable of doing and make a comeback in this LIC Grand Championship. So guys, don't go anywhere. Make sure the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's dive right into action. Look at this. He's got the wizard tower tanked and the dragon survived the single. Couple balloons and a dragon go to the other single. Do they get a downtime? Oh, wow. They get it before the single inferno pops that dragon. Guys, this is crushed. INTZ tearing this base apart here. He's losing balloons rapidly. Get the wizard tower. Get the wizard tower. Get the wizard tower. Come on, warden. This warden's got to be clutch. He's taking all the defenses here. Take out the wizard tower and it's a triple. One, two, tank it, tank it, tank it. Gets it! Warden Clutch gets the three stars! Come on, don't 99%! Oh no! <laughs> oh, he gets it! He gets it! It's a perfect war! It's a perfect war! Let's go! Get ready, gather around the screens because here it is! Queen Walkers kicking off. First attack of the war. Coming in with some Queen Charge Hybrid. Got the three charge. Er, I I can go into every single attack in this and be like, yeah, he got the three star last war because they all got three stars last war. But Akira coming in and going to try to get it done here with this Queen Charge Hybrid. Queen is uh, looking like he's predicting she's going to go to the left. She does not funnily. They're just letting her self funnel using a baby dragon out ahead there. I don't think he's deployed any Coco Loons for this Queen, but the Queen should step around the corner here and should enter. She's doing a great job. She should go all the way to Town Hall. Here comes the first Coco Loon. Trying to find some Black Mines. Coco Loons, if you're unaware, got a lot of people asking, what does Coco Loon mean? It means it's going to drop out of the sky like a coconut if it finds a Black Mine. It doesn't find any there. It's good news for now. But uh, we'll see if he runs into any uh, problems with that later, as he still has a lot of base left. He's got the Siege Barracks that can come in the top corner. There's a Tessa up there. But the Hybrid is going to go right in through the single Infernos and shoot across the base here. That means the Eagle's going to be beaten down on the entire time. The P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizard, look at the holes in the base in that top corner. The Wizards are going to come out, and they're going to take out the CC while the P.E.K.K.A. and the King are doing damage here. The Headhunters are not going to cross the base and go to the Warden or to the Queen. They're going to go to that King and get protected by the Wizards and they're able to work through it very quickly. Poison comes down, gets through the Witch, and they can continue on on the outside. And he'll continue towards that Eagle Artillery trying to push through. He's got the Rage down for the Queen, keeping her alive there with those Raged Up Healers. And a Heal comes down. He's taking the final Eagle Strikes, not hitting the spot that's getting healed, but he's doing fine. They, I think the King actually took the Strikes there. Hogs come out of the Siege Barracks. They're going to work with the King. This is absolutely crushed here. Akira comes out swinging. No mercy here for the INTZ players as... I mean, Queen Walkers is just on fire right now. He still has a Road Champion ability. He still has tons of Miners. Hogs come out of the Siege Barracks. They all survive. All the heroes are alive here. He didn't lose anything. He lost, he lost a handful of hogs, and that's it. <laughs> this is absolutely crushed. Beautiful attack here by Akira. That was that was beyond perfect execution there. And uh, using the Siege Barracks to actually deal with the CC troops there was genius. And I don't know if you saw, but there were 20 observers inside the clans here on top of the hundreds, if not thousands of people that are watching this on Twitch, and we'll watch it again on YouTube later on. So crazy performance here by the Queen Walkers. Now six for six. 
Renan is live for INTZ coming in with some drag bag. He came with drag bag last war. He got the triple with it. Let's see if he can do it again here. And uh, got uh, Scattershot over here exposed. Got Scattershot up here exposed. He's got a stone slammer. I mean, he's probably not going to. If he's six with that, then he'll use that to take out the town hall. Let's see what this king is doing on the outside here. Probably going to wrap around the corner there and set up for the queen to step inward. The king is right there. He doesn't have any headhunters. We might just, uh... Might just go to ability. No, the royal champions to step in there. It's not the queen. Where's this queen going to come in then? Is she going after the air defense on the other side here? Or maybe to the scatter up top? I'm not entirely sure, but the king pulls the CC. Headhunters are deployed. Pops his ability there with the Royal Champion. Gets the scatter shot down. Queen down on the opposite side of the base here. What are planning here? I'm not seeing the plan here. Did he get the headhunters down? No, the headhunters crossing the base there. It's going for the queen. He might pop her ability not only get the headhunter, but also get the uh, single inferno damage off of her. Get a reset there. He's got the queen speed to the wall there. He's got the funnel on that side. That's all he's doing is going for the funnel. Finishes off the headhunter. That'll make sure the headhunter won't go for the Grand Warden here at least. Taking some heavy fire there from the scatter and from the uh, air defense on the entry. Hits the tornado trap and he works his way in. He's got the single inferno beaten down and the dragons on his flank there. He switches over to a blimp. The blimp's going to cross the town hall or cross the base and hit that town hall. Portability to protect it. There we go. Ward ability not only protecting the blimp, but also protecting the dragons from the single inferno. The single inferno is at full charge right now. That dragon is going to drop on the left side there. As soon as it wakes up, there it is. Rage comes down over the town hall. That's going to have the dragon and... What was in there? Two dragons and a balloon. Take the town hall down. And he's got to get that scatter down. Or he's got to get the eagle down, I mean. He's got three freezes. Dragons are looking healthy. Get the hound out of the way there. Not going to cause any problems with that. Got to get that queen down. The ward takes the last shot on her. Takes her out. Freezing up that wizard tower. Trying to keep the damage off of the dragons as well as he tries to sweep through. One more or two more wizard towers, I guess. Freezes it. Perfect timing there. Getting maximum value out of that. Steps in the last one. What was the wind up? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was his last freeze. I thought he had another one. Dodge it a little bit, but he's not going to make it through that wizard tower. He's got a couple minions he can use to clean up a little bit more percentage, but he's leaving a lot of percentage on the board here. He cleared all this up, and he could have got it all in percentage. And that's going to make it very difficult later on for INTZ to come back on percentage if they're leaving this kind of percentage on the board here. A minion will pick up one more building, but it's going to be a 77% time, no, just straight up fail here for Renan. Tons of percentage left on the board there. It's worth dropping a couple of balloons. Even just one balloon to pick up two minions and an archer. That's a little unfortunate. Only one minion brought for cleanup there is going to hurt him on time. And miss out on a ton of percentage there. Pack number two. Coming in for the Queen Walkers. Coming in with some Sui Lalo. Stadra. With Sui Lalo. Now I know that... I know that Klaus likes to use uh, Sui Lalo. He's very, very good with it. He uses it in League. I haven't seen what Stadra can do with it, but he's actually going to step all the way in here with the King to take the Town Hall all by himself there. Actually really, really smart to just send the King in and not send the Queen of the Royal Champion. Because he has that Hound. Wow, look at the King value here. He's going to freeze it up there. And save his king ability so the king can actually get a little bit further. Now the uh, our champion's going to come down. Hmm. The queen's going to come down to the other corner. He's got an ice golem with her. A troll tesla pops in the corner. Super wall break in. The ice golem's going to stay in front of the queen there. She'll step up, take out some arch towers, take out the enemy queen, and get a scatter shot. Oh, not scatter shot. A uh, single inferno and a wizard tower. Royal Champion's going to have no problem cleaning up the pups on the other side there. Step all the way in there. She still has an ability. She'll grab the air defense. In comes the Soul Saver. Soul is going to make a direct approach towards that other scatter. As the Royal Champion sweeps towards the right side scatter. She has her ability. She can pop it anytime she wants. There it is. Would like to get one more shot out of that uh, Arch Tower, but that's all right. That's in the scatter. Did you get distracted? 
Oh, she doesn't get the other shot of the scatter. It's going to stay standing. Lala went from the bottom side. The queen survives as well. Dragon comes out. Does he even get in here? The dragon needs to come and clutch and take out that enemy uh, raw champion at the end, but he's got the skeleton spell, so not a huge deal. The dragon, most importantly, though, is tanking the scatter and keeping the damage off of the blues. Keep an eye on that dragon because that can come in clutch later on. Pops the uh, ward ability to get him through the wizard tower. All the blues are clumped up there. It can be devastating. The rage comes down inside of the ward ability with the skeleton spells, and there we go. He's got the freeze for the scatter, and he shoots into the last defense. He's got a skeleton spell on it as well, and there we go. Stodger coming in with two swag freezes and gets a triple on the board here, and Augur Middle. Queen Walkers is now going for seven out of seven triples, and this one with two swag freezes. Absolutely incredible. Crazy, crazy performance here by Queen Walkers in the LIC Finals. I gotta fix the scoreboard there, but guys, Marinol is live. We're not gonna be messing around with that for a second, but right now, Queen Walkers is perfect over the course of the Dwarves. Seven out of seven triples. And Marinol, like, has to triple right here. They have to be, INTZ has to be perfect, and they get some crazy defenses to have a chance to come back at this. INTZ missed their first attack here, but they gotta get at least three triples on the board here and they get some awesome defenses like it's not completely out of the possibility to for them to come back yet but it's looking grim here and they got to play like they got to have the war of their life right now to be able to come back he's got the king on the other side there with the siege barracks the yeti's gonna shoot through the town hall i think for another zapping him a little bit he's just gonna beat to the wall is it a super wall break somewhere no he's just gonna wrap around there is a super wall break in there go for another layer of super wall break no, he's just going to let him beat through. I don't know where the super wall breakers deployed. I didn't. I couldn't keep track of them. But here we go into the middle of the base here. Rage comes down. Healers are stuck back on the queen, unfortunately. The Yiddies are getting hammered up there in the crossfire of a double scatter shot. Warden is going to wear off as the Roar Champion sweeps in the right side. Bats on the left. Freezes are coming down to protect them. This is looking pretty good here. Considering that the Yetis died... Oh no, he just... Oh, the Wizard Tower wrecks the bats over on the left side. Eagle strikes him as well. And it is all over here. Marnal, unable to get it done. Pops his... He's has to pop his queen ability potentially to get to the enemy queen. No, the Warden can help him get through. He does end up surviving it without using the... The queen ability. So he can survive a little bit longer. And continue beating through a wall, of course. Minion, Wizards, working on cleanup on the outside. Collect as much percentage as he can. They, they're not out yet. But their next three attacks have to be triples. And that's a big ask. That's a big ask here against the Queen Walkers. Queen Walkers were able to do it though. INTZ is fully capable of going perfect for the rest of this war. But they need to keep the percentage down on the defenses to give uh, a chance here. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm off on the numbers here. No, no, wait, 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 wait. It had to be a perfect war in INTZ's favor. And they had to hold Queen Walkers under 12. Okay, never mind. It's mathematically impossible. <laughs> I think the Queen Walkers has this under, under control. But we'll just enjoy this war here and see if they can at least win this round of the series. But right now, Queen Walker is off to a fantastic star here. All right, Daku's in. Daku's in. And we'll update the scoreboard there in just a second. I'm going to get it sorted out. They're too fast there. Gaku coming in with E Drags. Look at the, let's analyze the base here for E Drags. Everything here is chainable. Everything in the middle is chainable. Everything is one tile away from the buildings next to it, except for one little gap right in here. Other than that, the entire base is chainable with a multi-inferno on the back side. This is actually a really, really good base for E-Drax. Very, very good identification here from Gaku. He's going to get the chains to actually get the early damage onto the uh, air defenses while he makes his initial approach here. That's actually really, really strong. Look how much value the heroes are getting on this very, very narrow base here. Ward building is going to shoot him right to the town hall, protect him from the eagle shots and from the single inferno. 
Balloons out in front there trying to find some black mines. They find multiple black mines. The, the balloons out in front just found the tornado trap and like four black mines. Edrax take no damage on the entry. A couple of red bombs going off here, but he's into the scatters. Freezes up the uh, scatter and the sweeper together. Takes a couple more black mines there, but he's doing all right. These Edrax can regroup and he still has a royal champion. Let's not lose track of the royal champion. Guys get incredible chains here. Man, the base identification here to see that the E-Drags would just rip this apart. There we go. One air defense left and the Royal Champion is just now being deployed. She fights through some Teslas. She gets through some ground skellies. She steps into the Eagle Artillery and it's all over. Queen Walkers now 848. Perfect. With a minute and a half to clean up here, Gaku connects and this is insane. They're going for a double perfect war in the grand finals. What a crazy show in here. Queen Walker is just continuing to surprise and surprise and surprise. And at this point, it doesn't even feel like a surprise anymore because they are just on fire. Get the hype out there, guys. Let's go, Queen Walkers. Selena is live against Yuta14. Let's see if they can go and get some stars on the board here. Augur Metal is just wiping the floor with INTZ today. It's impressive stuff. It is really impressive stuff. Not to say INTZ is uh, not having bad... Uh, they're actually having a pretty good war here, but look at this. He's trying to get the Royal Champion, but the Royal Champion has more health than the Queen. You can take out the Queen with seven lightnings, but you can't take out the Royal Champion, especially when she's standing next to the Warden. She's going to she's gonna stay standing. She'll be at low health, but she will survive that. That's important to note there. You can take out the Queen, but you cannot take out the Royal Champion without eight lightnings. You can quickly take her out there with a couple pups striking her, but... Yeah, he sets it up here. Is he trying to go in there take the Town Hall? I guess the Royal Champion's gonna sweep in there and take out the Inferno. Gonna have to freeze it. Freeze comes down. It charged up a little bit on him and he did take some unnecessary damage there. And now he's stuck on ground skill. Is he still going to make it through? Should, I would think. No, he freezes it again, just in case. All right, that was worth it. The king will come down to force the queen in. Wait, where's the queen coming in? Is the queen going to come in after the enemy queen? All right, I get it. Wallwrecker is going to go across and go to the town hall. Safer than a blimp. There's no damage over there that can hurt it. They can't go down to a black mine or anything silly like that. Can't get knocked back by sweepers. It's a very safe approach to that town hall. And on top of that, the wall wrecker will clear ground traps so he can drop out he can drop out something like a uh, like sneaky goblins and not have to worry about spring traps so then the hound can come out and it can cross safely and then the sneaky goblins can run off there perfect very very good execution there very good idea and much safer to go with the wall wrecker instead of the blimp there. That's a very smart idea. All right, so he's got the pups generated in the middle there. That's the hounds pop. They take out the last little bit of health there on the road champion. Blues are getting targeted by the scatter here as he tries to sweep through. Pops a haste. That'll shoot him over to the eagle artillery. He's got a wizard tower that's going to be shooting the big pack of blues there. He needs to do something about that. Pop is warden right now. There we go. Perfect timing on that warden. And he should be able to move into this last couple of wizard towers fairly easy. He's got a haste here. He's still got a couple blues that can come on the backside there. Probably through the mortar and get the tanking on that wizard tower. If he's thinking about it. He's got a couple uh, Teslas down in the bottom corner. This causes a problem. So he might need to go back for those. Or maybe reinforce that area with the balloons. And uh, it's looking like he's actually going to fail this. Tesla. Tesla. Oh, the Tesla doesn't go down on the bottom side. Can you shoot back across the base and get to it though? He's got minions all around here. It's not over yet. It's not over. But there's a lot of stuff in there preventing the... Oh, look at this warden. Look at the warden. Look at the warden. OP warden. Warden, attack the Tesla. Step up, step up, step up. Just facing time. Drew the skeletons out of the way with an archer. That was smart. We have enough. He's got another archer that drew him back. It is. It's a triple. Salino connects with only a couple seconds to spare there. Got a little bit, little bit scary, but he got it. But let's see if Klaus can get it done here. Still trying for a, a second perfect war in a row here. He's got bats and a Lalo. Seven bat spells. All single infernos across the top of this base here. 
with Wizard Towers mixed in. King's gonna come down. He's got a funnel for him. Super Wall breaks in. King's gonna step in there. Giant out front to tank the single infernos initially, but the one of the single infernos locked onto that king, I think. Hard to tell in there. See if he can get in here and get this done. He's trying to how far is he trying to go in his base here? He's got the queen ability. She'll take the sweeper. Did she take out that other wizard tower too? With that many bats there, I think that's what he's going for, right? Or is he going after that queen? Weakens the queen, but doesn't get her down. Did he get the value he's looking for there? We're going to find out here in just a second. It's the Lalo starting in. A Lalo bat attack here. Something very, very unique. Blimp's going to cross over. Warden can protect that blimp all the way to the town hall. And the blimp, as it travels, will keep the fire off of the scatter or from the scatters off of the blues here. Or it'll just protect the blues straight up. Loses a big pack of blues there to a scatter shot hit. What's he got in there? Freezes up. He's got a Yeti blimp that pops out of there. Or not a Yeti blimp, a uh, Goblin blimp. That's going to pull the CC, unfortunately. He's got a couple uh, pups that immediately lock onto an ice golem. Not going to cause any problems with that. Troll Tessa in the corner. Bats take out another troll test in the opposite corner. Bats are sweeping through. All splash damage is down. Guys, this is crushed. My, my lord, this is insane. Bats hit a tornado trap in the middle. Doesn't even matter. Can swag all those bats. He's got two freezes, a haste, and a poison left over. No headhunters in the CC. Didn't cause any problem for the warden. And he's able to easily get the three star here. Absolutely insane. Nine for nine for the Queen Walkers here. They are flawless in this LIC championship round here. Hound pops at the end. Doesn't even matter. Four swag spells. Four swag spells in a seven bat attack. How do you have that much swag? I don't even know if he needed the bats there. He probably could have taken it without the bats. He had such a huge amount of force with that Lalo sweeping through. I. I'm just blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. Air is live from INTZ. Honestly, if I was on the INTZ side, I would be a little bit demoralized right now. You know that it's impossible for you to come out on top, but they're not going to go down without taking the last swings here. They take it seriously every step of the way here, and they're going to try to get in here. These are pro players. They're going to go in here and give it their all, even if the hope is lost to get the, the win overall, but they gotta go in here, do their best, get some stars on the board here, get some triples. King's gonna come down. King's gonna work towards that royal champ, or no, he sends in a couple wizards to push the king to the, oh, look at this, look at this. He's gonna wall break the king in and go take out the air defense there. Going with the Ice Golem and a Wall Wrecker. The Ice Golem is going to distract the single Inferno. Not only protect the single Inferno, but it's also going to protect the King. The King's going to clear that compartment up there and keep all the Yetis to go directly forward. He still has a Super Wall Wrecker. I'm not sure what his plan is for it, though. He's got Bats as well. He didn't use the Warden to protect the Wall Wrecker, so the Wall Wrecker ended up falling really, really short there. Or he manually opened it. I'm not sure which. But the wall breaker is on its way in. It's going to open up the wrong wall. Is that a useful wall break? I don't even think so. Into the town hall we go. Yeti's out on the top side. Almost take down the wizard tower up there. But he still has a royal champion. The royal champion can go in there and uh, take that out. But he sends in the royal champion on the bottom side. Finds the Tessa farm down there. In the town hall, trying to get it down. The healers keep everything alive there. Losing a couple of healers to black mines. Into the scatter shot on the backside. The queen's gonna step up. She'll take it, no problem. In come the bats. Into the eagle artillery. Now the eagle artillery can't strike the bats once they get inside minimum range. So it's gonna be safe for them. Freezes it up one more time. Nice freeze right there. Okay, maybe not the best freeze there. Maybe not the best freeze there. Missed them all. Needed that freeze there to get to the wizard tower. And that could potentially turn this into a fail. Uh... All right, maybe not the best freeze. Definitely would have crushed it here if he had that freeze to go to the Blizzard Tower instead and uh, casted it right, trying to get greedy with that freeze there, casted it right in between multiple buildings, ends up hitting none of them. And that cost him all of his bats there. And that is gonna be a time fail because of that. Nice try here, nice try. Good effort though. 
crazy with bats. You make one mistake and it's all over. One mistake and you lose your entire wave of bats there. Huge amounts of spells that go into those bat waves and if you uh, mess it up, then you waste them all. Unfortunate, but air getting an 85% two star still a really decent percentage here. But nothing compared to what Queen Walker is dishing out today. Going for the perfect war, guys. We're going to find out right now. Is it a double perfect war? This very well could be. The first time in a best of two we've ever had a double perfect war in the history of Clash of Clans Esports. And it could be happening right before your eyes right now. Let's see if uh, Queen Walkers can get in here and get it done. There we go. We're live. Yuda. Trying to make history in Clash of Clans. Going for a double perfect war in a best of two in a grand finals. No more pressure. I mean, this is for the record book, guys. Could this ever be done again? I don't think so. Look at the wizard coming down here inside of the range of the mortar. Gonna take out the section of the base over there to form a funnel. He's got a queen charge hybrid. You a very, very, very good attacker here. These Japanese players are always very impressive to watch here and uh, let's see if they can get it done here. This Queen Charge starting off a little bit uh, slow, low damage area. No damage area for that matter. Just a Mortar hitting him, but he can uh, wall break into that. Where's he going to wall break in? He's waiting until the Queen rounds all the way around the corner there. That way the healers can make the approach to that air defense there from the inside rather than making the approach from the outside. And they can step up, they can take out the Eagle, take out the CC, get the partial pull here, grabs that one Headhunter. Does he lock onto it before the king? No, he doesn't. Or does not. Sends in a hog. Hog's gonna go in there and pull the rest of the CC. Try to get the best use out of that poison. Get the rest of the CC drawn out there. He's gonna be under heavy fire here. Might be forced to go to ability potentially, but he is staying up. And others are gonna drop. Now he's not gonna have a poison for the actual lava hound, but we'll see if he can get his way through it. See if he can get it. It's a minion down to help clean up those pups, costing him a decent amount of time here. He's got the king and the siege barracks up on the other side. The king's going to tank all the defenses in that corner, keep the damage off of the siege barracks, making sure that uh, siege barracks can produce as many wizards as possible to step in there and take out the archer tower. Wait, is that corner up there open? The king is going to step in there. He's going to clear out that whole corner, driving everything in. The king will actually lock onto the uh, royal champion potentially there, but more importantly, he's going to take the scatter shot and make so that the scatter shot is not targeting the hogs and the miners, but he does have the heal spell down just in case the queen is going to step all the way in there take out the arch towers this is beautifully set up to shoot right through the middle of the base there king's gonna wrap the corner take out the bomb tower hogs are coming out of the siege barracks sweeping through king steps into the queen couple ground skills there popping up tying up that king for just a minute he's not going to get her down he's going to clear out that corner he's got the uh, ward ability protecting him as he goes in the scatter shot the ward ability is going to wear off he has a heal spell he's going to get it down scatter drops into the multi inferno the queen's gonna pull everything off here freezes up the bomb tower in the single inferno keeping that royal champion alive the royal champion still has ability she's taking the healers now 30 seconds to go to clean up here the minus break to the outside it's all up to this royal champion now can she get it done the queen is still alive she's working her way through pops the royal champion ability trying to get the royal champion to go back to the multi inferno it's close it's close but yuda with the opportunity to make history here i mean Still, 29 stars out of a possible 30 in a single attack, best of two format, and they come in here and get 29 stars. It's not the perfect war they were looking for. Beautifully set up attack here by Yuda, but unfortunately, it is Speedwalker's first fail, which is impressive. That is impressive in itself. Crazy war here by the Queenwalkers, unable to get the final three star on the board there to go for a double perfect war. But we have INTZ in for their fat, their last attack. They're not going to go down without a fight. They're going to go out swinging. And we have Bernal coming in for the final attack. Coming with a queen charge with Lalo. We got three freezes, three rages, and three haste. To drive this queen charge in with a minimal amount of Lalo. Only three haste for the Lalo. That's all it really needs, guys. He's got the freezes that can be used to protect either the Queen or the Lalo. 
the uh the world champion step in there and take out that multi-inferno she's gonna get some good value he's got headed is gonna go after his queen here he has to freeze it the queen approached that with very low health he's gonna get the the uh wall break to actually open up this wall around the corner allow the queen to step around and she's gonna have to wall break again a seer wants to go though which wall is he going for the king is actually gonna step in but i think he's gonna step back out but the queen should go deeper in the base here is he gonna wall break into the wizard tower there it is look at the wizard tower wall break bernal so smart here with these wall breakers in general he gets deep in the base here and he can actually reach both scatter shots from that compartment. Well, no, he can reach one of them. He can't reach the one on the left. Does he need it though? Eagle's activated, targeting his queen. She's under one expo fire and both scatter shots. Another wall break came down and gave him access to the town hall. He pops his ability, takes the town hall down. Another rage comes down as he tries to work his way into the scatter shot. He can work his way towards that other queen. He still has a freeze. He can lock that queen down and save his queen if he wants to, or he can just let her drop at this point. There we go. The queen potentially gonna cause some problems here. The hounds are crossing the base here. They don't have a lot of tanking. He has the stone slimer that opened up and dropped a dragon out. And that's going to take out that royal champion potentially. Gets her down. Ward ability is going to protect him from the queen. But the queen is still standing. There's not a lot for cleanup in the area there. Nothing can really target her. He's just going to have to freeze her and just hope he can get through there. The dragon is on its way over. Can it make the path in there and take out the enemy queen here? Nal is looking good right now, but the dragon's going to break off. Minions are going to step up. Queen is on pursuit there, taking out the, the warden from behind. The queen survives it. She's in low health, but the blues do make it past. They're going to have to go back for her, though. The king is actually making a shield for that queen, and the queen is taking out a ton of cleanup here, losing a lot of blues to the bottom corner there. They do get a split, and uh, one balloon survives as they clear out that bottom corner here as the other balloon circles back around and is going to try to make the approach to the queen here. Need one drop on that queen. He's got the archer down in the corner. Can he make this? Does he need to actually kill the queen to get this though? Let's see the range on the queen here. I can't see her pad, but she might get outranged. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, she's guarding the storage. 11 seconds. He's not going to make it. Guys, he's not going to make it. Even if he tests the queen down here, he's not going to have enough time. Does he get her? No, it drops anyways. It is a 99%. The queen stays standing. And Queen Walkers defends the final attack. Very, very nice try here. Beautiful war from both sides here. INTZ with a couple of close ones. 99% there from Bernal. 85, 77, and a 96 there by Marinal. Coming in with 11 stars in this war. 12 in the first war. Hogger Metal. Where the queen walkers are playing out of just blowing both of these wars out of the water here the last two wars on the warlog there were the wars from the series it is a 29 out of a possible 30 stars in this uh single attack format war best of two series and uh hunger metal is officially the lic grand champion winners taking out intz in the finals now i don't know if you remember but uh intz had a killer time getting to here let me actually pull up the uh playoffs picture here so you guys see the teams that they had to get through to get to here so intz as you see on the bottom side of the bracket here intz had to face existence and team vitang and alternate attacks they took out all these huge hitting teams here on the left side of the bracket to reach this grand finals and then they get taken down by queen walkers after queen walkers had a relatively easy track going through uh fusion going through mng esports and going through activity all very very good teams in their own respect but uh compared to the teams on the left side of the bracket we have some all-star teams there with alter attacks existence and team vitang sweeping the left side of the brackets intz came to this grand finals with high hopes and unfortunately queen walkers just shut them down so crazy 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 all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks, everybody, for coming out and joining me. Congratulations to Queen Walkers taking down INTZ in the LIC Grand Finals. Taking down so many big-name teams on the way here and uh, come out with a near-perfect double war here. And what a showing. So, guys, make sure to the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll, we'll see plenty more of these teams in the future. They are not going anywhere. But, guys, don't forget to use code ERIC. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.